Okay, so this Sunday we've got Survivor Series. And currently, this we've got a blistering six matches. So it means I'll probably add one or two to the night of the card. So let's get right through this. Okay. Recently announced, Dolph Ziggler is going to take on John Morrison, U.S. title on the line. Yeah, so Ziggler, again, double duty. Defending his title as well as being in a uh, multiple-person match. As of right now, Morrison's contract expires on the 28th. So I don't picture them giving the belt to Morrison if he's not re-signing the contract currently. Just saying. So I picture Ziggler, who is on absolute fire right now, to retain the title and probably an absolutely glorious match. Period. Okay. Henry versus Show. You know, I know if Henry retains, this match really doesn't go anywhere. That's okay. Then who does Henry feud with next? I do think a Henry Sheamus feud has got some legs to it. But if Show loses, then who does Show feud with? You get your two biggest guys currently fighting over the title. I don't know where Show goes after this. I don't know where Henry goes after this, regardless of who wins. But I think to keep the belt on Henry makes sense. You know, he's been there for a long time, and he's actually pretty decent now, all things considered. You know, do I picture, you know, if Show wins him feuding with Barrett? I don't think Barrett is quite ready for that main event title push, push just yet. Next year, yeah, but this year, probably not. So I'll go with Henry to retain. Alright, well, Beth Phoenix taking on Eve for the Divas Championship. I didn't even know Eve was in a match. They've been pushing Kelly Kelly hard for the past couple of weeks. And with that one, you know, I look for Beth to retain. There's really nothing to gain from putting the belt on Eve. And Rock with the belt on Beth Phoenix, they've done nothing with it. Nothing. You know, Natalia gets beat every single week. You go from where the two down, most dominant women currently in the WWE to just them getting trounced almost every week. It's a really huge missed opportunity here. I don't picture Eve winning this at all. Well, five on five, Team Barrett versus Team Orton. Barrett is on absolute fire now. I think Barrett's team needs to win this. You know, Cody Rhodes is doing really well. Barrett's doing really well. Those two alone will do really fantastic in this match. Kuniko really has nothing going on. To be brutally, brutally honest. But neither does Sankara. There's lots of kind of just like, you know, little spots here that just really don't make that much sense and don't truly, truly add up. You know, Mason Ryan... Really? It's a huge team for Team Orton, but I just don't picture them. You got Mason Ryan, who's the, the big man of Botch. You got Sin Cara, who's a small guy of Botch. I'm looking forward to seeing that match on Botch and Mania the following week. Okay, two more matches to go. Del Rio and Punk. Punk has been annihilating Del Rio for months now. I want to see Punk win, hold that gold again. Punk is undeniably more entertaining than Alberto Del Rio. Del Rio, since he's won the title twice so far this year, really hasn't done much with it. He has not elevated his game at all. And he's always won dirty. I figure that this one, give the, put the belt on Punk. You put the belt on Punk, that way they can keep on feuding, and that way then you can kind of keep John Cena out of the title picture for a little while. Now we're down to John Cena Rock versus Awesome Truth. With this one, it's really hard to vote against Rock and Cena. Rock's first official match in like seven years. Fifteen years after he debuted at Survivor Series. It almost makes sense that this team will try to outdo each other repeatedly, which will therefore lead to their victory. But at the same time, Miz and Truth did defeat Triple H and CM Punk. So I picture them put up a really good show, but I just see The Rock and Cena trying to outdo each other so much in this match that they will come out victorious. 
If they're not, I picture Cena getting pinned. But let's be honest, how often does Cena really get pinned? So to recap, I want to see Punk win. I don't picture any other title changing hands. I'm going with Team Barrett, and I'll go with the Rock and Suck connection. 